All right, guys, let's talk about Waverly Hill Sanatorium because we were there for the overnight. We told you that because of that, we're starting a new project. We've been researching one of the names. There are several. This is just one of them, a glimpse into the behind the scenes of what we're doing. We found Thomas Allen. They talk about Thomas on the fourth floor. Thomas was a, a man who died there um, in, in 1930. He was 31 when he died. Uh, we know this because we found the death certificate and the proof that that's who we were communicating with. He was six foot eight, six foot nine. Um, we've been able to trace his information back to the doctor that took care of him. And we believe the doctor is still there with him. Um, but my contact with him was a little bit different this time. So sometimes I can just tune in to the location and I can find out, you know, connect with the person, make sure I'm connected right. And then I can ask identifying information and then validate it. This time I had a dream that I had a conversation, which, you know, may not have been a dream, but I had a conversation with Mr. Allen and I've gotten information about his doctor. I got information about the room that he was in, um, which is right next to one of the solariums. Um, but that's for another video. Um, but I'm going to show you his death certificate. We've been able to locate his death certificate, validating that that's who I was talking to. I told you his name was Thomas Allen. I was able to find the death certificate for Thomas Allen, who had been at Waverly Hills on the fourth floor and connected to the very doctor. People, these are real, real people. There's a reason that we're doing the project unburied. True stories of real people. These are real lives that you are investigating please make sure to respect them ask their names ask their stories some people need healing by finding out who they were and answering their questions or you know getting your questions answered about them you are helping in their healing process take a look at this death certificate if you have any questions let me know in the comments below as always, please like, follow, subscribe so I can get this information out to more and more and more people. Here is that death certificate. As you can see, if you look right here, you can see his birth date, the day he died, his age when he died. He was in Oaksville, Tennessee, which we're doing research on. Pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool to find some of this research and get my uh, information validated. Talk to you again soon. I'll show you another one.